Hello, welcome to the Monday, October 7th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Our handler Russ has been using the statistical computing language R a lot lately and has yet another article with some tips and tricks about how to use it during forensics and incidents response. In this latest installment, Russ is taking on the R package with network, which displays network related data in a link diagram, making it easy to identify the topology of a network and how attacks, network traffics, or whatever you're trying to map to it is really sort of affecting the network and interacting with the network. It also includes some interesting features like the Louvain community detection feature. That is a mathematical method that actually allows you to identify related systems, for example, members of a botnet, uh, parts of a certain organization or subnet. Uh, so, so if you need to identify, for example, command control servers or such, he's showing how uh, this particular feature can be quite useful. Next, we got a few Android related items. Google made public details regarding a vulnerability in the Android kernel. The use after free vulnerability in the Android binder driver had been patched, but apparently resurfaced in the most recent Android Linux version. Specific phones like, for example, the Pixel 2 and some Samsung phones as well appear to be still vulnerable running this latest kernel. Now this is a approach escalation vulnerability, so an attacker to take advantage of it already has to have code running on the phone. This would be code, for example, that a user downloads from some app store and then installs. Google has identified that this exploit is in use and has linked some of the exploitations to the NSO group. This is a commercial outfit that is selling mobile phone exploit tools, typically to governments and the like. However, the NSO group has denied any relations with the exploits that Google is describing. Needless to say, the exploit is out there and is being used, not really clear by whom. So until uh, this particular vulnerability is patched for good, uh, well, the best advice, and that's always good advice, is be careful what applications you install on your phone. The second problem affecting Android is really a problem with the Signal Messenger application for Android, not Android itself. This particular vulnerability was also discovered and made public by Google's Project Zero, but only after Signal was able to release a patch. The bug allows the attacker to call a device using a modified signal client and have the call established automatically without any user interaction from the recipient. This, of course, uh, could be used to eavesdrop on the device. And well, your best defense is to install the updated client that signal released last week. The bug only affects voice calls, not video calls, and actually, the underlying problem is uh, relatively straightforward. When a device receives a call, it will send a message to the user asking it to accept the call. Once uh, the sender acknowledges the message, then the sender is sort of concluding the setup with a connect request. And now the problem here is if the second part where the recipient is actually accepting the call is missing and the connect request is sent without the user ever sending that, uh, hey, I accepted a call a message, uh, the receiving device will still accept the call and that leads to this vulnerability. Of course, the normal out of the box uh, signal client will not send a connect request unless it has received that uh, second part from the recipient, but uh, actually Google Zero block does show how to essentially patch a signal client to send the connect message without the victim ever accepting the call. 
Well, and that's it again for today. Sorry for being a bit Android centric today, but if I missed any stories that I should have covered, uh, please uh, send me a message. It's always interesting to know if I have missed uh, something. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.